If you're planning on moving to Europe and there's a couple of apps that you need to be aware of coming from somebody that has made the move. So I'm currently living in Spain, more specifically Barcelona. So this might be a little bit more Barcelona specific, but if you're planning on moving to a big city, this is still going to be super helpful. First off, hi, my name is Shayna Conde. I'm a travel journalist that's currently based in Barcelona, Spain, even though I'm in Sevilla right now. So if you have any like questions, comments, concerns, or like just want more information about living life abroad as a black lady, like, share, subscribe, you know the gym jam. All right, let's dive in. First, hostile world, or just like look up hostile apps or whatever, but hostile world is my personal go-to. Now, hostels aren't necessarily for everybody, but there's different kinds of hostels for whatever your needs are, and it's a really great, great way to inexpensively stay in a city long enough to find long-term housing if you haven't already had that put in order before you, before you exited the plane. So there are a lot of people that think, oh, hostel, like I don't wanna be living with 12 people sharing a bathroom for like nine days. Yeah, there are some places that do that, but there's also a lot of hostels where you have your own room, your own bathroom, your, your own everything right so please don't assume that it's a one size fits all um and if you're unfamiliar with hostels then please know that there are co-ed there are single sex there are solo rooms there's a bunch of options right so you could really pick and choose whatever you want and generally they're going to be less expensive than getting a hotel for what, however long it's going to take you to find your long-term housing I will also say hostels are a great way to start making community in whatever town or city that you moved into. So even if you're only there for like a day or two, I would recommend it. But once again, this, not once again, but it does also depend on how much luggage you're bringing. Like when I moved to Spain, I really only came with two bags, a big one and a small one. So, and my hostel had a storage room where I got to leave my large luggage. Now, if you're packing your life, abroad then i mean technically you could still do a hostel you just have to rent out a storage space somewhere in the city to keep your things but i'm just saying don't don't knock it till you try it next is an app that not a lot of people know about but honestly it's how i found my apartment in elborn and i'm obsessed so it's called body b-a-d-i it's a newer app and it's great for finding rooms. Um, so you could have a roommate or two or three or seven or none. Um, I have one roommate, um, but it's a, and it's because it's so new, there are less cities involved. So there's Barcelona, Madrid, London, and one other city, possibly Paris, that's involved there. But I will say the selections are fantastic. The vetting process is 100%. Um, so you're less likely to get scammed. Honestly, I, I don't know anybody that's gotten scammed through this app as opposed to other ones. And for reference, here's one of the views from my apartment. It's like super cute, super cute. And that's my roommate's working station. She's like, Shayna, you could use it if you want to. I personally like sitting crisscross applesauce on the floor, on the couch, or somewhere odd. On body, you could filter by the amount of roommates you wanna have, um, if you want your own bathroom, if you need an elevator as somebody that has mobility issues, I needed an elevator, especially if it wasn't going to be on the ground floor. You could also filter by neighborhood. So doing your research on which specific neighborhood in your city is going to be super helpful. Um, I personally most recommend body, especially if you're, if you need somewhere quick, but not necessarily for if you need somewhere for like six months to a year. And I'll explain, I'll, I'll share my recommendation for that. My recommendation for if you want to stay, if you want like your home, if you want your apartment, if you want your space, Idealista. Idealista is how most of my friends have found their apartments, especially if they're living solo. Now, it could take some time to find your apartments. It could take a couple weeks, it could take a couple months, which is why I recommend finding a space like somewhere on body, so that way you can you can have your you you're not pressed for time um but when it comes to longer term stays idealista is where to go now i do not recommend finding a space on idealista if you're not in barcelona because you can and possibly will get scammed on there for idealista you will need to be present there at the space to walk through now for body 
In my experience, I did a virtual walkthrough with my roommate. We had a couple one-on-one -on -one talks. She showed me the space. She showed me the room. She had me, showed me how to get up, down, whatever. And I was like, oh, I could do this. And then I paid my deposit. And then she came and met me. And I got to hang out with her mom. And she took me to dinner. And it was super cute. Now, if I needed, because I have to go back to the States for a little bit, for the holidays and whatnot, um, if I needed my own space, I would have stayed with my roommate for the exact amount of time that I'm staying with my roommate. And then during that time, I would have been looking throughout El Born, creating a profile on Idealista, making different visits, popping in, popping out. And then once you find your apartment, you got to move fast. The, the rental market in Barcelona is not to be played with. It's not as nonsensical as New York but it does move at lightning speed. Now the one big bad boy that we all talk about, Airbnb. Because Spain has, and most European countries, but especially big cities like Barcelona, Madrid, um, even like here in Sevilla or in Malaga, like there's a, there's a lot of beef with Airbnb and let me explain. Like in many other cities around the world, Airbnb did throw the housing, rental, hospitality system into complete chaos, right? And it, that was really felt by the locals. So especially in Barcelona, no, but people don't really like Airbnb. People don't really like us in Airbnb. If you mention it to locals here, they will give you a side eye. I mean, not here, but you know what I mean. If you mention like, oh my gosh, like I'm looking for an Airbnb, you will get a side eye. So I don't recommend saying too much. If you're staying in an Airbnb, I don't recommend saying too much about that while you're there. Um, I will say that one of my friends was staying in. She had to move Airbnbs as soon as she got in because there were bugs on her pillow. And she said, help. I gotta get out of here and then she went into another airbnb and it was fine it was lovely um i saw it it was cute um but yeah yeah so when it comes to finding somewhere to stay in barcelona these are my recommendations if i forgot anything if you have any more specific recommendations or if there's like a specific spot where you're like i recommend this place to the ends of time please let me know <clears throat> Ooh my please let me know in the comments um and is that everything i need to get way better with these sign offs i think that's everything okay talk to you soon bye